We've been talking all things birth this morning with Nadine from She Births, and we hear a lot about creating beautiful births when it comes to She Births, and that in itself has such a beautiful ring to it, but I'd love to understand what defines a beautiful birth. Yeah, so for me as a doula, I was seeing lots of women go into birth with a, an expectation mm. of like it had to be like quiet. Calm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like I couldn't have an epidural, otherwise I'd failed. Yeah. This kind of dogma and doctrine, this kind of reductionist approach just was leaving women feeling really ashamed. Yeah. And that is not a good way mm. to begin motherhood. I really wanted all women to feel deeply empowered and yes. know that they've given it their best shot because mm. everyone is doing their best, right? Mm. I don't know what that would look like, someone in labor not giving it their best, right? Yeah. Yeah. So everyone's doing the best they can and everyone deserves to feel really empowered. But I also wanted to create this course where people could also have the most natural birth possible. Mm. So she births has always been about a beautiful birth, no matter what unfolds. Also allowing women to have the most natural, gentle and joyous birth mm. experience. But it's also really important to know how to have a positive epidural mm. and a positive cesarean section birth mm. and understand that sometimes those things are needed. Mm. So the first thing we know is that like maternal satisfaction rates are higher in women who feel like they were engaged in decision making. So you can only be engaged in decision making if you are educated. If you, yeah, if you're informed. If you're informed. Mm. If you feel confident to ask questions and usually your partner has to ask questions. And so we have this little acronym to make decisions that we call brand. Yeah. Um, so that you can engage with your caregivers if something's being suggested. So, you know, tell us the benefits, the risks, the alternatives. What if I do nothing? And what is my intuition telling me? Mm. And the final one is D, give us time to discuss and decide. Even if it's just 30 seconds, you've got to ask for that space to get your heads around things, to make the right decision. Even if it's just one pathway, you still got to process in the moment, right? Mm. So that's the mind. Mm. But in the space as well, you use your birth preferences to make sure that you're spoken to in a loving way. Mm. And that's one of the things that women will find if they haven't been confident, if their partners weren't informed, they sometimes feel like they were pushed down a conveyor belt mm. and rushed or not communicated with well. Mm. And so it does sound really horrible to make that kind of statement, but please speak to me in a respectful way or only talk to my partner when I'm in a contraction. Um, loving, respectful environment. And then really a beautiful birth ultimately is at the end of the day, bringing love yes. into the room. It's this moment when you're holding your baby, making sure that you feel safe so that you can just love your baby and fall in love together. Yeah. So it's about the loving meeting, however that arrival happens. It's not about our birth outcome. It's about who we're being. Yes. And it's that love chemistry. It's that oxytocin chemistry. It's those endorphins. You're making me want to go back again. <laughs> oh yeah, you're getting clucky. Yeah. It's that love chemistry yeah. that is actually shared with your baby. And that's the love foundation, a beautiful birth. It's loving, connected, respectful, empowered. Thank you, Nadine. That is such um, a beautiful description. It almost makes me want to go back, but I won't. <laughs>